Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, we are going to check out and test out several 4K IP PoE cameras from Amcrest and also check out their NVR system. Their IP cameras are pretty versatile and has different options in recording its footage, like from an NVR or inside the camera itself which you can install a micro SD card, or to the Amcrest cloud with a subscription, an FTP server, or to a local computer. You will also have different options in accessing the footage from the NVR itself if you set up one from their Amcrest View Pro app or their Surveillance Pro for Windows and Mac or using your web browser. For this review, I'll be using the Amcrest View Pro app and I'll tell you why later on the video. So we will do a quick unboxing, check out relevant features, do the install and compare the video and audio quality of these cameras. Amcrest sells their cameras, NVR and their camera systems in different configurations. So I highly recommend to get a camera system instead of buying the cameras and the NVR separately. Amcrest sent me three of their 4K IP PoE cameras and an NVR, which doesn't have a hard drive installed, and also no Ethernet cables. So keep that in mind whenever you're planning to purchase from their website or at Amazon. Thank you Amcrest for sending me these cameras and the NVR for this review. First, let's start with the NVR. This is an 8-channel PoE NVR that can support 4K or 8 megapixel recording up to 30 frames per second and with a max throughput of 80 megabits per second. Just a quick note, the NVR can record up to 30 frames per second but the cameras that we'll be checking out are only able to record up to 15 FPS. This NVR is smaller than Relinks or the Swans. In the front, we have a USB port and LED status lights. At the back, we have 8 PoE ports where you can plug in your cameras, a power supply port, and Ethernet port to connect to your router, a VGA port for old school monitors. We have a mic in and out RCA ports, an HDMI port, and another USB port. On one side, we have a vent hole with a fan. Take note because I'll bring this up again later. This NVR doesn't have a hard drive included, but Amcrest sells one that has a 1 to 4 terabyte of hard drives installed. Time to open up the cameras. First, we have the Bullet camera. This one has a Starvis CMOS sensor. Records up to 4K at 15 frames per second. Field of view is 112 degrees horizontal and 69 degrees vertical. It has night vision up to 131 feet. You can install a micro SD card of up to 128 gigabytes on this one and you don't have to have the NVR. This camera is IP67 weather resistant. Most of the camera is metal and this comes with a sunshade. We have the lens and the infrared and the light sensor in the front. You only need to unscrew one screw to loosen up the arm so that you can adjust the position of the camera. Then tighten the same screw to lock the position in place. On the bottom is the place where you can install a micro SD card. On the wire end is an Ethernet port and an optional 12 volt port if you don't have PoE. Next camera is a turret type camera and is also a 4K. This one also has Starvis sensor and night vision of up to 164 feet. It has the same 112 degrees horizontal and 69 degrees vertical field of view. It also only records at 15 frames per second for 4K footage. It comes with a Torx screwdriver. We have the camera and you will see that there is a mic. This camera is all metal. Just loosen the torque screw and you'll be able to remove or reposition the camera. Last camera that we are going to test is the dome type. It also records at 4K at 15 FPS. It has a 112 degree field of view and night vision of up to 98 feet. It also has a slot for a micro SD card and up to 128 gig. And it is weatherproof with an IP67 rating and is IK10 vandal resistant. This camera also comes with a torque screwdriver. So we have the camera itself which is enclosed in a glass or hard plastic dome. And it has additional connectors. We have the ethernet port and we have some alarm wires, an optional 12 volt port and RCA jacks, which I know before yellow is for video and white for audio. But I'm not sure if this will work with our PoE setup. Time to set up the camera so that we can compare them. First, out of the three cameras, only the turret camera has audio. I'm not sure how the RCA jacks are used on the dome one, but it will need extra wiring and is beyond the scope of this video. Also, the dome camera is I think mostly designed for a ceiling install. Installing it on a wall like the other two cameras, it has limited adjustment as to tilt 
and the only way to be able to compare the field of view with the other two cameras, I have to install it lower. And even then, there is still some issues which you will see later on. Also, this camera is the only one that needs three Torx screws removed together with a dome cover, exposing the internals of the camera. Also, you will need a small Phillips driver to adjust the tilt of the camera. This is my least favorite as to installation. The bullet camera is easy to install and you only have to loosen one Phillips screw to adjust the position of the camera. The turret camera also only needs one torque screw to loosen and when the camera is positioned, then tighten it to lock it in place. This makes it an easy install. The Amcrest NVR has a smaller footprint than the other NVRs that I have tested and works okay except for the little fan on one side. It does have some noise. I remember the older Reolink NVR has this fan noise too, but in the newer models, Reolink removed the fan. The NVR interface is also pretty intuitive, but has a learning curve just like all other NVRs that I've tested. I do have a complaint though during my testing. To back up or to download the footage from the NVR, which you can use a thumb drive, it only saves the footage to a .dav file which will need another program to be downloaded to your computer so that you can open the file and convert the footage to AVI so that it can be universally be viewed. Reolink and Swan converts directly to MP4, so I'm not sure why Amcrest cannot do this. So let's check out the video quality of these cameras. So this is the video and audio quality of the Amcrest 4K NVR POE. IP cameras and the one that only has audio will be the turret camera and this is the video clarity test at 10 feet 15 20 25 30 This is the running man test.
so this is the video quality from the Amcrest uh, turret camera and this is the only one that has a mic so you can hear me you should be able to hear me right now but this is with the infrared LED on and lights are off so this is at 10 feet 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, So this is the video quality of the Amcrest NVR cameras and with the lights on and all of them are in color recording. So their infrareds are off. And this at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 
Now for motion detection, well, these Amcrest cameras uses pixel-based motion detection like most wired PoE cameras. And you'll have the usual grid zones and motion sensitivity settings. But it is still pixel or camera based, which will still give you false notifications, especially at night when there are changes in lighting or shadows, swinging leaves or flying insects. Overall, the Amcrest cameras have a decent video quality, but I would choose the turret version more than the other two because of audio. It is the only one that has a mic and records audio with a decent volume. The bullet type is okay but has no audio. And I don't like the dome one because you have to open up and expose the insides of the camera to install it. And also it is limited in installation options. It is designed more for a ceiling install. And with a wall install, you will have difficulty in tilting down the camera. And as you've seen the sample footage at night with the infrared LEDs on, there is some glare and reflection from the eaves of the house. I do like the versatility of the cameras though and you don't have to have an NVR to make them to work. You can install a micro SD card and with a separate PoE injector or switch, then you'll be able to control and view the camera using the app or use other popular security camera software like Blue Iris. As to the NVR, I'm not fond of the fan noise. At night, it is doing a duet with our fridge. My computer has less noise than the NVR. I'm also not fond of the NVR exporting the footage to a DAV file. And for users needing another program to convert the files so as to be viewable with commonly used video players. So what do you think guys? Any questions? Comment down below. And thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the little bell icon so that you get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.